did you miss us? It's uh, Nick and Rahul back for a Plaza podcast episode 19. Um, had a bit of a hiatus, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, just end of exams and, you know, just didn't want to do a podcast for a bit. Chilling out. <laughs> but we're back, you know, a whole year of podcasting. Um, hopefully we'll get out 20 episodes before the end of the year, yeah? Retiring the podcast, and yeah, the end of no, the year. No, season one, season one. Come back, right, renew right. for season two. Like, we're going to get a Facebook countdown, like, you know, like 200 days till season two of Flowers Podcast. Right. <laughs> anyways, um, oh, dude, that's one thing I need to change. I got to stop using anyways as the only, like, word I use for segues. It's really bad. But, uh, yeah, like, we started out at the start of the year, just, well, why, why did we start the Flowers Podcast? Do you remember? Because you wanted to do it or something. <laughs> I just wanted to like... Yeah, because we were having really crazy discussions on Facebook Messenger and we were like, wow, what if we expose the world to our thoughts? But then uh, <laughs> Fabian left, so it's just us talking about random crap. But it's quite fun. Oh, you froze. Yeah. Holy crap. Um, yeah, like I think the best parts of the first podcast is when we like argue about useless shit, like... Does bread go in the fridge? And then... Because, like, I didn't even know that the other side existed. Like, people who don't put bread in the fridge. How do you not know that? I, I just thought it go, goes in the fridge. If it's not, like, fruit, I guess, it goes in the fridge. I guess it's like that thing where if you're born in a cave and you only got, like... <laughs> oh, wow, okay. You're exposed to, like, cave paintings and shit and that's yes. it. And you live in a dark room and you go outside. Dude, this is like the first Plows podcast episode, like filmed in natural lighting, other than IRL stuff. It's pretty good. No, there was another one, I think. Was that? I think the only other thing we recorded during the day was like the chess let's play, which got like five views. Speaking of low views, why did no one watch the story time video, huh? What's up with that? (laughs) God damn. But uh, yeah, like just. It's really fun doing events with our fans, like the bread testing event. Bread tasting event? Wait, no, bread testing event. As well as a makeup event. Taste. Bread Although, taste. At, the, at the bread test, I didn't eat that much bread. But um, let's just say I ingested carbs in another way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll try to get Fabian back for episode 20, huh? Gotta make the cycle complete. Yeah, but see We'll see, we'll see. Work in progress. And, um... Leave, like, I also want to do challenge videos. Like, we can eat really spicy, like, food or 50 chicken oh, nuggets. You know what we could do? Mm. We could do, um, we could bring in all the guests that we had for, like, a segment each. Oh, yeah. One new story each or something. That's, like, too much planning, man. Like, I got to oh, go yeah, next I Saturday. I don't know. True. Mm. What was I talking about? Yeah, like, I want to do challenges, like. Eating 50 chicken nuggets in one sitting. Or like spicy noodle challenges, something like that, yeah. We need more challenge ideas to film. because I think that'll be fun. Uh, Do you have any like goals you want to set for season two of the Flowers podcast? Season two? I don't know. What do other podcasts do? They do nothing. Yeah, they have like a proper (laughs) schedule unlike us. So they don't have seasons. They just pump it out. Like, we're pretty unique. We do like different shit in our podcast. That's true. We're like not really a podcast. We just like it's like more like a talk show. I guess little skits and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Hold up, let me check what's next. All right, so yeah, thanks to everyone who watches the podcast for a great year. Oh, that we're so synced. So now we'll move on to no what we're best at covering funny stories and whatnot uh, first up um are you aware of black faraz pro- <laughs> i can't say this word what the, the school statue you know that one? Oh, uh, black black fries is that oh shit okay hold up be happy well it wouldn't be a plows podcast episode without some technical difficulties huh so rahul <laughs> why don't you um, say this school's name, which I can't pronounce. Uh, Black Friars Primary School or High School? <laughs> it's or not whatever. primary school, dude. 
It's priority mm. school. I don't know what that means. Priority school. Oh, okay. What yeah, they, they have a little funny statue over here. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. It's... it's just a saint holding a potato. And there's a little kid there holding the potato with them. Like... <laughs> it stirred up quite the storm on social media. Uh, what are your thoughts on this statue? Um... This is a very unfortunate statue. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I don't know if this was reviewed by other people, but the yes. person who designed it must have like just had a yeah. blank, just bad placement. You know, like oh my god! <laughs> the more you look at it, <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do they fuck it up this bad? Like, what is he meant to be holding? Like, do we know? Potato or something, as he He's said. He's maybe potato. Some... Oh. Maybe it's some bread. Yeah, he's like know. giving the bread to the kid, but like, look at look at his face as well. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the... He's really enjoying like giving bread to people, you know. Yikes. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Um, I think the statue's like now being like renovated or removed, so at least mm, that's probably I should just keep the like tourist attraction, right? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Yeah. Obviously this is not a good like, you know, statue because all the church people have been accused of like Yeah. <laughs> so it's not really helping their image, is it? So that's um Bit of a just epic fail. Nothing else to say about it. Um, something completely unrelated. Do you are you aware of the game League of Legends? No. What is it? Really, it's a um online uh MOBA. You know MOBAs? Okay. Was yeah, like I think so. Battle arena games. Yeah, they recently released yeah. a video on their YouTube channel, which is basically discussing if esports is sports. Okay. So, you know, that seems like a good can of worms to open on our little humble podcast. So, <laughs> um, so basically, you know, there's Shaquille O'Neal on the video. He's saying, have you guys seen O'Neal? esports? Yeah, just open the Holy. video. He's in the like first few seconds. And then another mm-hmm. bold guy says, I don't know if that's sports. Oh. So, what do you think now? Um, I think... It's 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 it can be counted as sports because it fills up like arenas and stuff, in stadiums well, and like, stuff. Is that the and it's like, competitive. like what's the definition of sports? Like just something people like. There are people playing it's, it or doing it, and then there's other people watching and enjoying it. And competing, playing and competing. Because like I think. I think like you know this is the argument I always go for, right? Like if chess is an Olympic sport, like why can't mm-hmm. video games? Yeah, there's still like strategy involved, you know. Yeah. And African skateboarding in Olympics, like no no offense okay. to skateboarding. Then, Just like it's I a bit guess, Yeah. But yeah, it's I think it is a sport because it's got all the elements of a sport, right? Oh but you don't it's got competitive. you don't got people running around, you know, it's not a real sports. You nerd. Wow. If I threw a football at esports players, they probably can't even catch it because they're a bunch of nerds, man. <laughs> You know who I'd show them? Who? I'd show them my boy Kevin Hornser Yarnell. Yal- he Who's spends that? his day in the gym. He nice. spends his day in the gym mm-hmm. and he's buff as shit. He probably beat up an NFL quarterback, bro. <laughs> you think so? But he plays games all day, man. He's just no. No, he's very strong. But who knows? People say <laughs> nerds can't be strong. So I don't know. I don't, yeah, if you don't break a sweat, I don't consider it a sport, says this lady from this. Yo, he's next to that guy from the show, Blue Bloods. He's on, what? Like, if you go to, like, 15 seconds into the video, like, they're in a talk show. And then that guy's like... Is that Mark... Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah, it's Whoopi Goldberg. And then, like, the guy in the suit's, like, Mark Wahlberg's brother or some shit. Like, Johnny Wahlberg or something. <laughs> What a great Wait, isn't that Rick Fox? Who? I thought that was Rick Fox. Who's... No, that's not. Where's Rick Fox? 
Oh no, no, like the guy, the, the guy in the middle, the guy in the middle. Okay. Yeah. I don't right, know. Cool. It's from The View, which is a very negatively rated talk show, so who knows. Mm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our very in-depth discussion of if esports is sports with lots of um, compelling arguments from both sides. <laughs> Alright, since we've been away for a bit, uh, let's go into our movies and the music segment of the show, which... I don't think anyone watches because we don't know what we're fucking talking about. True that. Do you want to start with music? No, or you can't. movies? Can. What? Uh, let's do movies. Okay, so... you asking me to... We, you watched The Room, right? Why don't you tell us a little bit yeah. about that little film? Um, the Room is a film starring Tommy we- Wiseau. It is also written, directed, and produced by him. <laughs> and I think it is a a cult classic yeah, film. He's a bit of a even you know, jack of all trades. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's pretty infamous for being like the worst movie of all time. <laughs> but I, I think it's it like the worst, movie. like most popular, like bad movie of all time. Because yeah. okay. if yeah. you go down the rabbit hole quite a bit, there's a lot of shitty films. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, but yeah it wasn't that bad it was really funny just because it was like so bad yeah that's basically it that's that's it there was like a scene yeah there was a scene like at the end Mm -hmm. which which was really messed up (laughs) should i say um spoiler alert if you don't want to hear it just skip forward spoiler alert all right so basically Mm -hmm. johnny the main guy tommy wiser's character Mm -hmm. Um, he finds out that his girlfriend's been cheating on him with his best friend. It's Lisa, isn't And he it? goes in a... Yeah, Lisa. God damn it. Has been cheating Johnny with Greg. No, not Greg. What's his name? Mark? Yeah, Mark. Oh, oh hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah. All right. So yes, she's yeah. cheating on Johnny with Mark. Mm-hmm. And then Johnny goes crazy. He, like, breaks all the stuff um, He in his apartment. He throws the TV out the window. And then... He gets, like, in the start of the movie, he buys Lisa a red dress. Yeah. And, like, he really, she and him, like, love it. Dude, that's just good writing, so then, right? Like, if you have something in the scene, you always use it later. Chekhov's gun. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Good writing tip. What a beast. So, at the end, right, after he's destroyed his apartment, he grabs the dress. Yeah. He moves it to his groin area. Yeah. And he starts humping it. <laughs> he starts humping it. And then he gets okay. out a gun and shoots himself. <laughs> what the fuck? And then he dies. And then, and then he dies. Uh, okay. Sad, but it was funny because he started humping the dress. It's symbolism, dude. You don't get it. You didn't do IB English. <laughs> That's uh, messed up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty weird. I mean, I think you just watched it because the disaster artist, artist is coming out. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> and um, we also watched Thor Ragnarok. So, yeah. I think it was a pretty entertaining film. It was a very entertaining mm. film. It was like a classic Marvel movie. Yeah, but like a, a lot of... Su- like, it's a good superhero movie, but it feels like... There's still like a lot of setup for Infinity War, which is some, like... I don't know. Yeah. Just subconsciously, I'm like... Every time I watch a superhero movie, I'm like... Oh, they're just building the universe more instead of like telling a standalone story. But I guess it's fine if you yep. want to watch 22 yeah. movies. Yeah. Yeah. Infinity War trailer. How was that? That was really good. good. Yeah. Pretty good. I yeah. just got one question, man. Like, what's Hawkeye going to do? Dude, he heard me. Like, he heard me. So he didn't shout for the trailer. True that. And, Dude, um, I also, saw the trailer, right? And I, was yeah. really, I was really scared for Spider Man because he got freaking choked yeah, slammed by Thanos. And Spider Man's just a kid. And also, um, I noticed that Ant Man was not. In the movies, so it really like gives me a lot of speculations. Wow, I wonder what's happening to Ant Man yeah. during this. I think like maybe like because Marvel's a part of Disney now, maybe Mickey Mouse will show up like you know oh, yeah. Kingdom Hearts star. He just shows yeah, up. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that'd be. You know, how, you know how um Thanos opened the portal and walks yeah, yeah. out. Mickey Mouse would do the same thing. <laughs> Dude, you know, like, um, how at the end of one of the movies, is like, the duck character, Howard the Duck? Yeah. He should team up with Daffy Duck and Donald Duck. 
How cool would that be? <laughs> Great movie. Okay, uh, let's go on to music. Any uh, releases we missed since like a month ago? A month and a half ago since that last episode? Yeah, a lot of them. Hold up. Back in a sec. I'm going to get my music. I'm going to list. You yeah. can just check like Wikipedia 2017 releases. Hello? Are you there? Hello? What? Alright, hello. Would you like to start first? What uh, I was just getting my music pickups for the last two months. Oh. What did you like? What I say? Uh, I was. I just said. Um. Just check the Wikipedia twenty seventeen releases, because I found me screwed listing everything. Well, okay. like go to Spotify new releases and scroll down a bit. Yeah, you do that. All right. <laughs> How was it? Um, your Spotify twenty seventeen wrap up. Uh, it was pretty expected. I think. I guess so. Yeah. Dude, it's so, like, yeah. they were doing, like, who was your top artist, and then XXX Tentation showed up for me, even though I listened <laughs> to, like, two of his songs, like, oh, that's messed up. <laughs> Alright, while you're looking it up, I got the new Weezer album, Pacific Daydream. It's, um, it's pretty mediocre. Yeah. It's, like, it was pretty. I don't mind listening to it, but I haven't found myself going back to it a lot. Uh, there are some few good songs like QB Blitz is like hell yeah. Dude, I don't know. It has like a like a coarse language warning, but I don't. Do you know any like? I don't think so. No, I don't think there was any coarse language. Anymore. I also bought from eBay the two Roswell Kid albums. They're like new band with the old Weezer sound, so I quite like it. Did you listen to them? I listened to the. Latest one. Okay. Which one? Oh, yeah. How was it? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Right. Pretty good indeed. So, those were just... That was just me showing off the CDs I bought. <laughs> what about you, Rahul? What have you been listening to in the last month? Uh, Young Lean. Young Lean, okay. Then Bjork. Mm-hmm. Uh... Well, it's Taylor Swift's new album, which is pretty, like, average, too. And then, what else? A lot of stuff, but, like, I can't find it anywhere. Uh, Sam Smith. Sam Smith, dude. Yeah, his album was pretty sweet. We similar. always joke about Sam, Sam Smith wishing it was 2012 again, though. <laughs> That's basically it. Like... A lot of like random Lucy tracks too, like yeah, just one off tracks, but like mm-hmm. there's too many to count okay. after that. So. Well, um, it's time to say hello to those people who skip our music and the movie segment. To uh, what are we talking about next? Uh, Amazon, Amazon AU. Yes, I don't really understand yeah. what's happening. Could you elaborate on the whole situation? Yeah, basically, Amazon just la- launched an Australian website that doesn't sell books anymore. It sells, like, mostly it's everything, everything yeah. else, yeah. like yeah. Uh, everything. US site sells. Well, what does um, this mean for, you know... All the warehouses are in, like, Australia, so it's just quicker delivery, okay. I guess. What does this mean for Australian consumers, like? Uh, they Amazon said they would, like, change up the whole consumer game, but, like, mm. their prices yeah. are pretty, like meh mm. right now i guess it's just so like it's... convenience of sitting your home like yeah basically it'll still like i think overall it'll be cheaper to buy online like i would go yeah. i would go in a store to check out what i want and then i'd see if it's online so... mm. dude the switch is 400 bucks on amazon it's cheaper than anywhere else how much is it like it's like 500 dollars right in store yeah let's get it then buy the switch no i can't i have no money <laughs> Fair enough. 
Anything else to say about Amazon AU? You know, no. Just keeping cool. our keeping our viewers updated on possible shopping sites. Yeah. And uh, a follow up from one of our earlier stories. You remember Elon Musk? Yeah. The man behind SpaceX. Yeah. We talked about how he was making the battery for South Australia, like, like episode one, two, or three, and then Holy he's crap, actually. It was that long ago. I think it was quite a while ago. Oh, sh- I don't know. Yeah. Might have been like, I think it was an early story, but you never know. But um, this madman's gone and done it. He delivered. Yeah. The battery. Which is a. Uh, Sixty-three day signing. Nice. Uh, it was pretty good. So, I guess, just a quick update story, you know? Yeah. What can we say? Like, Elon Musk like, is just top of the world right now. It's like Not the world's intended. largest battery or something. And it's in Adelaide, so that's pretty well, cool. Well, it doesn't look that large. Like, you know, you imagine like a huge statue of a, a battery, but it's just like oh, a bunch okay. of power oh. cells. The world's largest lithium ion battery in record time. That's what it says in the article, man. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. How does um, lithium-ion batteries work, do you know? I don't know, man. All the solar stuff goes in and then yeah. gets stored in the battery. Are they still then... using, like, galvanic cell technology? <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably. I don't know. Fair enough. So, um, now we have to move on to, you know, some more serious subject matter, I guess. There's been uh, okay. a few suicides by jumping in the Adelaide area. Have you heard of them, Rahul? Damn. First of all, there was a death at Flinders University. Someone jumped off a bridge. And then Damn. also, somebody jumped off Maya. And just pretty sad stories overall, man. You know? Yeah, that's pretty sad. Um, I guess what I wanted to say was just you know, do you have any tips on preventing those suicidal thoughts and whatnot? Uh, like, how, how are you doing know. today? How do you feel? I'm fine. Mm. Better than normal. Thing. Yeah, just like, but, there's like fluctuations in how you feel, right? Yeah. Like, I, I, was re- I was doing really badly, like, last year in year 12, and I had to go see the school council, like, a lot. And then... Mm. And then this year, I'm doing it a lot better, but still, there are times where you feel like, you know, what's the point? Yeah. But um, my grandma sent me something on WeChat. It was like, how to be happy. And then one of the tips was live in the present and, you know, don't worry about the future and then, you know, feel regret for what you've done in the past. And that's really helped me out. Yeah. And also, yeah. just keeping myself busy, like jogging, going to the gym and doing stuff, you know, helps a lot rather than just sitting on your computer doing nothing that's mm, true yeah but I don't know it's good listen to some cool yeah. uplift music I guess dude that's so like, that's actually so hard like I just default myself to like sort of sad moody music and like I, yeah I don't I know it's like affecting me subconsciously but I don't know how much it's because of the music but oh well yeah, you got any, um, you know, tips with dealing with stress and stuff? I don't know, yeah, I just listen to music. I can't deal with stress at Not all, like, I'm so fucked when it's like deadlines are coming up. Jeez. Oh, um, write, write stuff down in a diary or something. Dude, I actually like, I started doing that and, like, it's actually helping me so Yeah, like, yeah, oh. help me out too. Like, I don't know, do you do, like, a to-do list or what? I do a to-do list only for, like, school. Right. But then, like, sometimes when I have nothing else to do, I do, like, a general life to-do list, too. Yeah, I started doing, like, a general to-do list. And then for the, like, diary, I just write down whatever I did today. So, I, like, realize, okay, I did yes. this. It's Same. really good. Yeah, good stuff. Um, you know, don't kill yourselves. Uh, call Lifeline if you need help. That's all. Dude, we're so ill-prepared for this topic. I didn't even look up the numbers yeah. on Lifeline. Shit. I'm sure they can look it up, you know. Um, after that, you know, really 
sad term <laughs> of uh, topics. Is that, does that make any sense? My English is so shit. Like, let's think of a After good, that. you know, really grim turn of events. That doesn't sound right because we didn't actually experience it. We're just talking about it. Basically, what we're trying to convey is what we said before was a bit, you know, serious, but now we move on to something funny. Such as, <laughs> drum roll, please. Girl gets perfect revenge on Creep, who tries to sex her with a little help from Shrek. So, um, <laughs> do you want to act out the uh, Instagram chat? Uh, okay. Okay. You have the window open? Yeah. All right. To begin with, the man probably thinks he scored. You sex chat? Sorry if I made you mad. Sure, but only if we can role play. Okay, we can. Good. <laughs> Leads you to my room. Your hot ass f girl. Damn, <laughs> not gonna even reply. Thanks. You welcome, baby girl. <laughs> Okay. Kisses you long and hard. Kisses you back. You like that, baby girl? Takes off your clocks. No, no. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> no, wait. I want to bring in my friend. Is that okay? Mmm. Gets hard just thinking about it. <laughs> Blindfolds you, then brings my friend in. Friend slowly kisses you. Kisses. Kisses back. Would you like to take off your blindfold now? Yes, baby. But then, she plays a trump card. Trump might be a word associated with bad men. Like, who wrote this fucking article, dude? Oh my it's like god. A, it's like a 12-year-old, like, wrote this shit. And unleashes Shrek. It's an imaginative way to dispel a sex fest. And it's just a picture of Shrek. <laughs> And then we don't hear back from <laughs> the man. Wow. Dude, I'm so glad, like, we waited till today to do the podcast because this is, like, just showed up. Like, yeah. What do you think about this funny exchange? I guess it's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. She know, totally got him with Shrek. Yeah, got him. He didn't even... Dude, he was, like, he was so shocked that he was kissing Shrek. Like, damn. Yeah. Like, would you be? Yo, if you were blindfolded, like, could you tell you were kissing Shrek? I think so. Yeah, you could, it could, um, I think the lips would give it away. Yeah, because his head's, weird. like, quite large, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, man. Just, uh, would you recommend, uh, this funny way of repelling a sex pest? Why not? You could yeah. even swap out Shrek with something else. Hit him with the Shrek, you know, or hit him with... What else would you swap it over? Uh, I don't know. There's something funny. Yeah, like... Some funny part from a movie. Yeah, like B oh, yeah. movie. B Barry Allen or whatever. <laughs> That's oh, a yeah. funny one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to, you know... If someone messages you... You sex chat and just give him Shrek. <laughs> no, another uh, crazy story is um, the boob, the heart shaped boob challenge. Have you heard about this, Rahul? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, like people in China, mostly uh, women, I would have to guess. They put their like breasts into a heart shape and then take a photo of it to send. It's pretty weird. Yeah, it's I don't just know one of those challenges, right? Like, how is like, it a challenge, bro? Like, you, you gotta like, look how hard it is. You can't just do it. Like, look, it's hard to. You're do You're frozen it. for me, so like, it's hard. It's, to... I can't even see. Like, mine's not big enough to, you know, do it. Can you do it? Okay. Can you do it? Yeah, you okay. do it. And you say if it's a challenge. <laughs> or not. It's just like I don't know. It's like, it's like, um, how do you say? It? Like in the Western world, people are like, okay, what's a crazy challenge? Do the Harlem Shake or, you know, Ice Bucket Challenge. But then in China, it's always Harlem about like, in China, it's always about like body like stuff. 
Like, I remember some other. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. There's a lot of Chinese challenges involving, like, breasts. I don't know why. It's just. It just exists. Do you think this is a good challenge or a bad challenge? It's a whatever challenge. <laughs> would, like, you be, meh. would you be. Would you, like, try to attempt it? No. Do it, dude. Do it. Come I would try to. Try it, try it, try it. No. I tried it. You can't just. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, you gotta. They don't do it with the shirt on. No. You gotta give our viewers a little eye candy, you know what I mean? I don't want to. <laughs> Dude, you know what you do? Like, you make a video saying, like, okay, I'm gonna do the, like, heart shaped boob challenge. And you take okay. your shirt off, and it's a picture of Shrek. Uh... <laughs> okay, that's pretty that's good. That's a pretty good way to mm -hmm. repel sex yeah. predators or whatever. <laughs> yeah, thanks to um, the Daily Telegraph for bringing us this social story. <laughs> Finally, you can't talk about boobs without talking about boners, can you? <laughs> Mom makes one cookies for son's first birthday and they look like this. Dot, dot, dot. So, you know, pretty innocent mold, a uh, cookie cutter for a cookie. But then, when it gets back, it looked a bit like, you know, very Yikes. phallic symbolism, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. This is another case of something we talk about on the podcast where it's just a funny picture and we can't really give much like... <laughs> yeah. Hey, would you eat these cookies, Rahul? Uh, yeah, they look pretty delicious. Hot gay! Uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these funny stories we bring you <laughs> every, um, once in a while. Because we can't even say every week anymore, can we? No. Um, that's all the stuff I had planned. Do you have anything else you wish to talk about? No, not really. Okay. Dude, what was the best, like, story we covered on Plow's podcast? Uh, I don't know. I think it's got to be either know. like the Jeffy user food until Jeffy like blocked me. It's either that because okay. it went yeah, on for a few episodes and then we also did RL stuff or um, they try yeah. to use Angelina Jolie to catch Coney. Like it's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh. yeah. Oh. Um, Okay, yeah. Yes. One of those. Yeah. And um, no Q and A segment because no one leaves comments on the videos anymore, which is a bit sad. Just leave us like challenge ideas or just anything we can talk about. We're just trying to fill our time here. Mm. It's true. Um, what's it? What's it called? Oh, dude, I forgot that this freaking. What's the bit we do where we say like, "Has this been solved?" And it's, the answer is always no. Dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been solved? I think not. Yeah. I don't know. Like, no, it's not. Are people still working on it? Like, yeah. It's a million yeah. dollars if you solve it. So why don't they just do it? Huh? Yep. Shout outs to our Patreon supporters, Stephanie Park and Jen Lin. I haven't checked Patreon. Hopefully, they're still supporting us. And um, <laughs> if there are new. Patreon supporters, which is like very unlikely. Sorry, I missed out on you, but we'll get you in on the next episode. All right, that's about it. My dog's barking. Goodbye. Tune in to episode 20, season finale of Plows Podcast Season 1. Hopefully before the start of the year, but most likely after the start of the year because I'm going on holidays like for the second half of December. But peace out. Peace out. Can't get the. Oh, okay, I'm full screen. Whoops.